What I'm going to do today is look at some of the drawing tools in Adobe Flash Animate. I'm going to look first starting off with the rectangle, oval, and polygon tool. The first thing I'm going to do is set the stage by going to New, Action Script 3.0. You can also do this from the welcome screen and setting the size of my of my stage right here. So the first thing is I'm going to select the rectangle tool right over here. I've changed my toolbar from a single row to a double row just by pulling. Now as soon as you select the rectangle tool, the properties panel reflects to show all the properties of the rectangle tool. Right here is the stroke color which you can get from the picker. You can also choose no color at all by choosing this little icon, which would be familiar to you if you're familiar with other Adobe products like Photoshop and Illustrator. Or you can go to the custom color and choose a color from here. This is the fill color, and it's basically the same thing. Right here you can actually type in a, a hexadecimal color if, if need be. I'm going to just choose red. You also have the gradients down here you can choose. The, these are already made gradients. The first thing I'm going to do is use the rectangle tool to pull a rectangle. And again, up here you see the colors, custom colors, or even no color which that icon should be familiar with you, to you if you're familiar with other Adobe products, which would be like Photoshop, Illustrator, and a few others. And also you can do the hexadecimal right here by typing it in if you need to do that. Now I'm going to use the selection tool, which is shortcut is V. And I'm going to select up by double clicking. You're selecting the whole object, you've just the whole drawing object, or single clicking will select just part. Here I'm just doing the stroke, but a double click will, will select the whole stroke. And double click will also remove the stroke from the fill. So come over to, to clear the stage, you come over and do a double click on the eraser. So what I'm going to do now is set this up with no color on the stroke and say blue. Press V, selection tool. bring this over. Now what you have is one object instead of two. Now if you go and use another color, selection tool again using V, and I'm selecting that, it creates a cutout which is similar to Pathfinder in Illustrator, but not quite so versatile. Now, another thing you can do here is you see, you see this little icon. It allows you to manipulate the shape. Selecting it again, double click. There might be instances where you want to do overlays and you don't want punch outs to happen or, or create like a, a negative, positive background. And what you do for that is you come down here and you select this icon called Create Object. Now what that gives you is something you can 
work with that's not going to create punch outs. I'm going to come over and clear the stage by double clicking the eraser. And I'm going to pull another rectangle. But before I do that, Animate's rectangular drawing tool also gives you the ability to create rounded corners. Right here under rectangle options, I'm going to type in 75 dot and that would be one side. So what I'm going to do is hit the link chain link down here, which gives it four sides. And I get a rectangle like this. I've added a stroke in the size. And I'm going to do another rectangle and look at some other configurations to modify. I'm going to double click the rectangle so I can modify the edges on the on the rectangle by filters. What I'm going to do in real time is come down to join and do round. Or I can come down to join and do bevel. This can only be done when you've double clicked the rectangle. Moving on to the oval tool, it's fairly similar to all the properties you have in the rectangle tool. Holding down shift makes a perfect circle. Using the V to select the selection tool, I'm going to just select the oval and I'm going to delete it. If you wanted to, with any of these images or shapes, if you select part of, this, of the shape and delete it, you can modify the shape. And as soon as your cursor goes over the edge, you see you get that little icon, which means you can manipulate, change the shape. So it's fairly similar to the uh, rectangle tool with all your um, properties right here. Now I'm going to move on to the double clicking the eraser to clear the stage. I'm going to move on to the rectangle primitive tool. What this allows you to do is create everything in real time. You see how this is different with the points. So what this means is you can actually come over here and in real time make modifications without having to uh, change it. And it seems to work best uh, in the oval tool as far as modifying the shape. So I'm going to jump out of this by double clicking. Now I'm going to go into the Oval Primitive tool, holding down Shift to make a perfect circle. Now you have these options, Oval Options. So there's quite a bit you can do here. And everything is real time. And you have all these you have these filters. So that's the oval primitive tool. So now I want to the poly star tool. Here I've removed the stroke. So one option you have is to create 
something like a star using the polystar tool. And by, how you do this is by going to options and choosing star instead of polygon. And how many sides of a star you want it. Here's five. Star point size is point zero point five zero. Now, if I was to come in and change the configurations, So all these shapes can be manipulated. So that's a polystar tool. And there's no primitive polystar tool. Next is the line tool. And this is fairly self-explanatory after looking at the rectangle, polygon, and oval shapes. You can adjust the stroke size. You have the filters. Or you can, just like the other tools, you can do it in real time by selecting the object, double clicking. And you're able to manipulate these lines. Using the line tool, you can modify how the lines are going to join. Here I'm using MITRE. So you get that type of an edge. If I change it to round, I get that type of an edge. Now we move on to the pencil tool. And again, this has a lot of similar properties and modifiers that were in the previous tools. If I come down here and go to cap, I can change the square. Also, you have these modifiers down here. And what this will do, I'm using straighten. You see what that does? Or if I use smooth, it smooths it. That's not a really good example. You can see the improvement. Thanks for watching and hope that helps.